I did a video recently about Morse code, CW, and uh, I added it to uh, the exclusive club. In other words, if you want to operate uh, CW Morse code, you need to learn it. It's not a club that uh, you have to apply to join. You just join naturally once you've learned Morse code. And I was really encouraged. A number of people that, uh, got in touch with me and said that uh, they are thinking about learning Morse code or they're trying to learn Morse code or they've just learned Morse code or even they've come back after many years back onto Morse code. It's a fascinating mode. It attracts a lot of people these days and I think the attraction is its simplicity. It's just switching your transceiver on and off in a predetermined uh, code and you can then send messages, messages around the world. And also the great thing about it is it's very good for weak signal reception and uh, communication when conditions are a little bit iffy. But also a lot of people enjoy rag chewing on Morse code, but you don't have to rag chew. Anyway, let me give you an update on this. And if you're thinking about learning Morse code or you're in the process of learning Morse code, I think I found something that might be quite helpful to you. Welcome for joining me once again on the Waters and Stanton video channel. I was operating down the bottom of the 40 meter band on CW recently and I heard a station that uh, I didn't recognise the call of and I, out of curiosity I just went on to QRZ to look it up and it was Graham, the G4JBD. I was fascinated, a very interesting CW sort of accessory or tool or learning facility that he put onto his uh, QRZ page. It was quite interesting. So Graham, if you are um, watching this video, many thanks, because you've obviously put a bit of effort into this. And I thought it was quite an encouraging way of brushing up your CW. Whether you're an experienced operator or perhaps you've just uh, um, gone on to CW or perhaps you're aspiring to learn CW and you want something that uh, is going to be a bit of a challenge to you. Well this um, facility that Graham has put onto his uh, QRZ page is really interesting. It's a very useful tool and I haven't seen anything quite like it before so I thought what I'd do is just show you on the screen here um, how it uh, is presented, how it works and how it may help you in improving your CW speed or your, the, the way that you um, send CW uh, or if you're learning CW or trying to learn CW it gives you a bit of a challenge. Anyway let me explain how it works and what I found. Now looking at Graham's QRZ page he's obviously a newsreader for the RSGB and he seems to um, read the news on the 80 meter band using AM. Anyway, it's quite a fascinating QRZ page to look at. But we're going to concentrate on the uh, CW uh, side of it. And uh, you see here, what Graham has done, he's um, transcribed the RSGB news bulletin, which I presume he updates regularly, I don't know, but I suspect he does. He's transcribed the RSGB news, news bulletin um, so that it's now presented in Morse code. And if you look at the presentation here on the uh, page I've just put up, you'll see that you can select the text. Uh, so you can go into the uh, the menu system, select the text. Uh, you can select the CW speed, and you can decide whether you want to have any uh, QRM to uh, sort of simulate what you might hear on a live uh, QSO. So let's try this out. I've selected. The, the news headlines. Uh, I've selected 12 words a minute and I've selected we'll have a quiet background. We want to start from the beginning. What I'll do is I'll start this plane and then we'll switch to the text. So let's start this uh, uh, plane now. Series of V's. There's the V's up there. GB2RS. News, uh, Sunday, 
the 17th of March. We can now go back to the main page and we'll stop it there. Now let's introduce some light uh, QRM. I've selected uh, uh, light QRM here and uh, I think we can start the QRM before the CW. Can we? Yes. And we can actually control the level of the QRM. There's a, there's a sound um, bar there. So we'll now start the CW with the QRM. started sending GB2RS. Sunday. The So we've got some light QRM there. So we'll stop that now. Right, now let's start it with uh, some uh, heavy QRM. I've selected heavy QRM in that window there. So we go down to the, here and we start playing the QRM. Sounds pretty loud to me. And we'll start the CW now. Now it's a bit more of a struggle. You can actually adjust the level of the QRM. I think if I click on the speaker here, I can actually control it's quite clever actually, I can control the level of the QRM. So you can simulate trying to decipher CW with a very uh, heavy QRM. And that's uh, quite clever. Well, all I can say is well done Graham. That's a great little, uh, I say little, there's a lot of effort gone into that. And um, it's going to help a lot of people. So have a look at this, uh, this site. Uh, you need to go on to qrz.com uh, and uh, you need to key in the call sign G4JBD and that will take you to this uh, fascinating Morse tutor. Now, if you've found any other tutors on the internet that you think you want to share with others, then put a, uh, put a message down below this video and uh, that'll help others who are struggling to learn CW or to brush their speed up. But uh, I thought this was quite a... Uh, a nice uh, idea, a nice way of uh, brushing up your CW. So, thank you for watching this rather short video. I hope it's uh, been used to those that are trying to uh, sort of get into the CW mode of operation. And if you uh, haven't even thought about it, perhaps this will make you think about it. In the meantime, thanks for your support on this channel. Thanks for your support at Waters and Stanton. Um, we do appreciate all the orders you place on the uh, website and also we're always, always glad to get phone calls from you, uh, any inquiries you have about products. Uh, we carry the complete range of ham radio gear. In the meantime, enjoy your ham radio. Be back soon. Look forward to meeting you there. Well, by the way, I forgot to tell you, the speed is from five words a minute up to 51 words a minute. <laughs> It's a challenge for you.